Hello, I'm Derek from Era 418, and uh, this is our progress update for the afternoon. We've stuck with relatively the same design. We have the um, the four bar and the claw, but they've both gone through several iterations. I believe this is our like fourth iteration on the claw. That's kind of hard to do because we 3D print everything, and it takes a lot of time to 3D print. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you, and also the following sponsors. Apply the skills you gained as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. If your team is utilizing SOLIDWORKS, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SOLIDWORKS and their engineers and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash first and click on Student Community. <laughs> and so from here on out, we'll mostly be focusing on our autonomous routines. We haven't started those yet. And getting a little bit of practice into the drivers so that when competition hits at 5, we'll be, um, we'll be ready. Uh, early designs were either too small so they couldn't grip the cone or too big and outside the 18 inch limit. And I believe uh, this is our fourth iteration and it has, you notice it's really wide and tall and that's so we have a lot of surface area to grip the cone better. The cones are deceptively tricky to grab both because they're circular and also because they kind of taper in. So you have to have a really good grip to properly control the cone across the field. We did widen this part of the bar because we were worried that uh, with our last design, we only had five half inch holes and we weren't getting enough height to hit the medium. Uh, I, don't know, I can't remember what they're called, the yellow tubes. Uh, so we switched to seven holes, still not quite enough height. We're gonna try and work on that before the uh, deadline tonight. We put a lot of our weight on the back. The, um, the four bar is really, really heavy and because it is located as far back as possible, we don't really struggle with stability issues. Also, you'll notice that the claw, when it raises, it doesn't extend outside the boundaries of our robot, it stays above the center. From now on, it'll mostly be a lot of programming, a lot of repeated testing, and some driver practice. Thanks for watching. You can see more updates on Fun's YouTube. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is utilizing SOLIDWORKS, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SOLIDWORKS and their engineers and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Student Community. Apply the skills you gained as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion, for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors.